everyone. My name is Dawn and this is Emily, my daughter. We're here at our home in our backyard on Treaty 6 territory. Um, today we're just gonna have some fun. We made some ice um, in some bowls. You can make different sizes, different, you know, tiny ones, big ones, thick ones, thinner ones, um, any kind of ice. We used, just use our cereal bowls and made little domes. Um, and we have some salt. So I have coarse salt and Emily has fine salt, and we've got some food coloring. So we're just going to experiment with how the ice will melt with the salt on it. Okay. All right, let's try. Yours will melt faster than mine. I don't know. Or mine will melt faster. I can't really see it. I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring to mine. Me too. sunshine and then I colored it blue. A blue sunshine. Oh. I can already see that my salt flakes have melted right into my ice. What are you going to do? I'm just adding more to my lines. Another zigzag. I like your zigzag. Has yours started to melt? A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna bring the camera in closer so you can see what it's looking like. Not sure if you can see, but the salt has carved little crevices right into the ice. I'm gonna tip it up a little bit so you can see right along there, the salt is Creating little crevices wherever we put it on the ice. These do not look like two different colors. <laughs> they look like the same color. I like the red. Do you want to try some of the blue or the green? Sure. Okay. I like how yours is carved a little. You can see, especially on the edge. I'm going to hold yours up, Emily. How it's carved little troughs in it. And the top is all, um, it's got a cool texture to it. It's making a cool design on my plate too. You're doing more? I'm just gonna go right around the edge and put some more. Oh. So it's been 20 minutes. We're just watching our uh, ice melt and trying different colors and different patterns. Emily flipped her ice over and made a different design on the back. So I think it would be a lot of fun for everyone in your family to enjoy and it takes a long time for ice to melt. So it's hours of fun. So take a look at these before you go. They're really cool. I think mine's almost melted right to the bottom. Science session with Anna. Hey everybody. So to start off today's science session, I'm going to share a super interesting fact that I think will be a great background for this experiment that you guys just watched. 
So I'm gonna say the fact and then I'll go in depth and just explain it for you guys. So did you guys know that the freezing point of water is actually the same as the melting point of ice? So that means when you put a water bottle that you want to freeze some ice in at the bottom into your freezer and that freezes, that's the freezing point. And when you take that water bottle out and you put it in a sunny spot and you start to see that liquid water come back, that's your melting point. So the freezing point of water and the melting point of ice is the same temperature and that temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. So that's super important to know. I love that fact. Great to know, 32 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna explain the experiment now. So on top of the ice that we took out, there are actually little puddles of water that have not frozen yet. And we're gonna call that the surface of the ice or the film of the ice. So when we add the salt, the salt dissolves in that little film, that surface area, and creates some salt water. Now, salt water has a lower freezing temperature than ice, which means that it freezes a lot easier than our normal ice with no salt in it. So, as the ice is in contact with the salty water, it melts and you're getting more liquid water, which means more salt, and a lower freezing point, which means we're gonna have a lower melting point. So when we take it out and we're putting it on top, it's melting a lot easier than a normal ice cube just would. So that's the chemistry behind the salt and ice experiment.